What's up guys, it's Josh and we're back again with another video. This will be the fourth installment in my series where I talk about every single AP class I took and give you guys my tips for succeeding in the class and on the exam. Last time we talked about AP World History and today we're talking about a very similar class. Welcome to AP Survivor Guide, US History Quiz. Like in the other videos in the series, I'll start off giving you guys my own personal US history story. Then I'll go into my tips for the class and the exam. I took AP US history the year following AP World History, which happened to be my junior year. And at that point, I was living back in Herndon, Virginia. Like most AP history classes, the key to succeeding in your class is your textbook. Rather than having daily quizzes like I had in AP World History, my AP US history class was based around the saying we called guided readings, which meant for every chapter in the book, I would go online to a Google Doc and answer a list of about 40 or 50 questions on that chapter. Not only would I have to answer those questions, I would have to pay attention to the key terms that were contained in the chapter because the day that the guided reading was due, I'd have to come into class and take a key terms quiz. I really liked the layout of this class and it really resonated with the way that I like to learn. Not only did it focus on the big major concepts in history, but also on the specific key terms that you will have to use as evidence on your essays. And then every couple of weeks, we would have a big test on a couple of chapters in the same time period. This test would consist of AP style, multiple choice questions, you know, where you read the passage and then answer the questions following the passage that kind of relate to it, but kind of don't. And then we would sometimes have short answer questions and essays in addition to this. Personally, I liked my US history class way better than my AP world history class because of the structure. Of course, with you guys, the structure of your A push class is going to differ, so I can't speak for all of you guys, but hopefully it'll be pretty similar. My success in this class eventually led to me scoring a five on the AP exam. Now let's get into my tips for how you can too. So like I said, every school is different in the way they kind of force you to read the textbook. Some do daily reading quizzes. Uh, my school did guided readings or some do outlines that you have to turn in every day. At any point in this class, if you feel like you're moving too fast, I recommend going home that night and outlining the textbook by yourself and really taking your time with it to make sure that you're understanding all the concepts. That's what I did a lot to make sure that I was caught up. And also as you're reading through the textbook and making your outlines, take note, of all the key terms because they are a very important part of the test. And also similar to AP World History, this test also contains the same two essays, a DBQ document-based question and a long essay. These essays contain rubrics that show how to gain the maximum number of points on each essay. Each point is awarded for doing a very specific task in that essay. In the DBQ, it may be mentioning a certain number of documents or examining a certain point of view or the context of a document. These essays are not academic English essays. These are history essays. So your grammar, sentence structure, diction, word choice does not matter at all. Throw it out the window. It's all about content, 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 and making sure you back up every single point you try to make. As for study tips for the exam itself, I recommend reviewing all your outlines and all your notes from the whole entire year. If you still feel like you need some more review material, I recommend going to pick up the Barron's AP US History Prep Book. I personally did not use that, but a lot of my friends did, and they said it was a really great resource. What me and a couple of my really close friends used instead was this YouTube channel that's made by this guy named Adam Norris. Adam Norris is an AP US History teacher, and he puts up his own class PowerPoints and records a video of him lecturing and going through each slide in the PowerPoint and talking about all the major concepts. He manages to condense a whole 30 to 40 page textbook chapter into about a 10 to 15 minute video. His videos are awesome and not only use them before the AP exam itself, but also before every test or key term quiz. I have to say I probably watched each video at least five times at this point. That is my secret trick to succeeding on the exam. Thank you, Adam Norris. Also, if you're ever too lazy to actually read the textbook, just go check out one of his videos. I'm not saying that he covers everything, but he at least covers the major concept. Okay guys, I guess that's it when it comes to being successful in AP US history. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hey, hopefully you learned something. If you did, go down below, drop a like. It helps a lot. And hit that big red subscribe button to support more content from me in the future. Comment down below any questions or concerns or what you thought of the video. I try to respond to everyone. As always, I'll be back again tomorrow at 3 p.m. with another video. See you soon.